All right, everybody, we are here at the Beak Meet uh, 2024. And made it up to Wisconsin, and this is the initial hall when you walk in. You can see we've got some vendors here. We got Thorn Manufacturing, uh, amazing equipment here. Um, man, look at this uncapping tank over here. Uh, I'm gonna have to talk to these guys. But uh, we've got Dedant over here, Simple Comb. Um, hey, hey. Uh, we've got up over here, Apame is up around the corner here. We're gonna wait because we're gonna talk to Corhan. Um, but very excited just to be here at the Beak Meet um, 2024. Uh, let me walk down over here, see what's going on. Hey, hey. <laughs> so, wow, look at this over here. Hello, people. Hello. Hello. <laughs> wow, look at this. Nice room here. So, hey. <laughs> but this is one of the halls where there's going to be some of the sessions taking place. So, really excited to be here, though. Look at this. They even have bags here. We've got... Uh, the Greg Burns over here uh, spreading the knowledge. He's he's intense. He's in it. He's focused. He's doing it. What up? What up? What up? We are here with none other than the Bruce Jenny. What up? What up? Bruce, what's up, buddy? Hey, just up here in Wisconsin, having a good time, starting to meet some people, and people are filing in. It's going to be a fun time. Definitely, yeah. yeah. I, I like the fact that we could just kind of come and hang out and meet folks, and I'm going to get a little bit of content. Looks like you are, too, so it'll yeah. be kind of fun today. Yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. Looking awesome, forward man. to it. You, too. Some call me that. Exactly. <laughs> Looking forward to hearing you... Uh, speak today so, yeah, yeah absolutely it's awesome. gonna be fun it's great Excellent. to be here it's always fun to get to teach people about bees and for all definitely yeah yeah awesome man yep. good seeing you nature has benevolent side and dark side and we just don't know from time to time what we're going there to there you've get. got so Cayman Reynolds what bees speaking need, today how long they last and do our job bees are good at certain things really good This year, as soon as I get how about half, I'm going to continue this experiment right here to see about this effect. If indeed treating bees with oxalic acid disrupts the ability of the mice to identify a nurse bee as opposed to a forager, that would reduce their reproductive rate. <laughs> why I switched from using the sugar to using the glycerin. Because the bees, if they, if they taste it and they're sugar, they're likely to eat it. The bees don't like to taste the glycerin. So um, I haven't done gut dissection, but my impression is that uh, we haven't used sugar in our dribbles for a number of years for that reason. So two days before the queens emerge, you need to build your mini queen mating notes. Frame, um, use frames with wax starter foundation to speed up the process rather than using the naked frames. Um, add two cups in their speed. Got Jed Thorne over there who will not go on camera, so we are going to sneak. What I have right now is <laughs> I know how to turn these off. Hey, it's not recording. What's what's that? I don't care about the camera. <laughs> I'm just telling you, this is not recording because I had one on yesterday. Yeah, it's recording here though. Oh, I know. <laughs> and there could be a pollen flow. We feed them pollen patties anyway. Now we have small hive so we have to do it in very thin strips, and it needs to be a soft patty if possible. I like the. Uh, soft global patties for that reason is I can slice them up into one inch strips 
And that way the bees get a lot of surface area like this and they can consume them fast. And I also make my lids to have a three quarter inch gap now to where bees can get up on top of it and really control the small hive beetles and just consume it really fast. But we want these colonies to never once even question nutrition because if nutrition, even for 12 hours, six hours, is cut off, they automatically start pulling back from larva. You can, um, you can see the jelly behind the larva. And it is quite copious. This is ideal springtime. There's plenty of pollen coming in that's a good colony. You go to that same pollen, they can be a big population, but if it's August and they haven't had a good pollen flow for a couple of weeks, it's very dry behind them typically. There's a little bit. They want it right next to it. And so there needs to be next to this bar. This bar will be in the center frame. Of the, the center frame of the colony, so that'll be the middle. That'll be our ground team bar. So, you know, help bubble bee keepers in my area because we, we have a bee club um, in our area. I don't, I just, I, it's just, I'm not knowledgeable about it at all. But it sounded like it was something that you guys were really talking about today. Yeah, so, and there's several ways to be successful with that. And this beekeeping is a journey. No one's going to get it right the first time. <laughs>